All right, people. I'm going to show you how to do lighting. Um, it's a technique I just kind of came about by myself. Wasn't anything special, uh, but people really seemed to kind of um, enjoy what I was doing. So uh, I figure I'd just make a video real quick of uh, how I go about it. So you'll see like I did with this room here. Um, I started out with just a regular light source and then um, and then I put this awesome filter on it right here, you know. Um, it's basically the same thing I did with the lighting under the door here. Um, you'll also see the hallway where I did it. Now I do use dirty tools when I do this. So like what I'll do is, um, uh, so let's see, I will usually have a way of doing it where I can transform my brushes to define a pattern, right? So let's so let's look at a defined pattern. Oh no, wait, wait a second. I'm gonna mess up a few times during this video, that's for sure. Because I haven't I haven't customized my brushes in a long time and I forget how to do it. Uh define brush preset. No. Oh you know what it is? I know what it is. So brush. Haha! -ha. Alright. So if you're not familiar with this, what what I do is I I basically take um, like a pattern and do it myself. So here's the uh, texture that I use. I, I have a few different textures that I use to, you know, make my brushes. So this one is just a regular black and white that I just, you know, you, what you can do is you can take um, uh, four pixels, right? So let's, let's do any four. It doesn't really matter where you do this because what you're going to do is you're going to select the different brush styles that you want. So let's do... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> so we'll do this... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Messed up. Told you I was going to mess up a few times during this video. All right, so let's do this and this. And basically, you select it and you define a pattern from it. So we will define pattern. There you go. And then that will appear in, 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 in will appear in here in your patterns. So I just took this one. And I, I did this earlier, so, you know, the, this is basically what you need to do to make this. Uh, I'm sure there's tutorials to make um, patterns online, so you can come up with your own or whatever you want to do. All right, now that we showed you that, I can get out of here. All right. So, for sake of demonstration, um, you're going to need a light source. So I'm just going to copy the one that I got from over here. This is, this is just this one right here. So, and, I, and I basically put some lighting effects like an overlay, color overlay effect, and a, uh, some kind of a blur or glow to it. Um, I find that it kind of gives you like an extra depth of uh, perception by putting that in there. So what we'll do is we will copy these layers and we will put them in my other folder here. I can get to it. Copy. Room to sewers. And we will put this out front so you guys can really see it. I'm just going to move it over here. It can be anywhere in this room. I'm, for the sake of demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it in the top, very top corner so you can see the, um, the shades of light that I'm going to put in here. Okay. Now, from this demonstration over here, let's go back and so I can show you the elements of what I did to this one. Uh, so you'll see I added color dodge. That's usually my 
uh, staple that I go by. Um, so if I were to make this normal, right, you can see that I, what I did was I just really took my eraser tool and I applied that, um, the pattern to my brush size. So I did a 10, 10, but you know, you can make it any size you want really. And then you just go around it and I'll show you when I get to it too. So let's make this, you can pretty much, like I said, you can make this any filter you want. I really like the color dodge effect, but I mean, you can also do this if you want. This is the uh, soft light. Um, if you want to make it brighter, like a brighter color or another color, usually what I do is just, um, I go to hue and saturation and I mess with it, you know, so I can make it any color I want, you know, make it really spooky looking or you know, just uh, an emergency hallway or emergency stairway, basically, that's what I made. And when you desaturate the color, you just make it kind of just more white than anything else. But you can really, like, ramp it up if you really want to or whatever. Um, just the darkening here, this will, it's basically um, your alpha. Um, it's just, like, if you were to take it all away, you'd see a normal room then. Um, you know, same thing with blowing it out of proportion, it just makes it solid. So, we are not going to apply that, but I am going to show you how to make that over here, how I do it at least. <clears throat> so, for this demonstration, let's, let's make this another color. Uh, let's do yellow. Why not, right? Um, typically, I find that um, certain colors are kind of weird to do this with. Yellow is one of them, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. Uh, yellow is one of them. Red is one of them. Um, this took this red one over here took me a while to to really get to look correct in what I really wanted. But, and you might find that with the um, with pretty much any of the primary colors, uh, you know, red, yellow, blue. Um, green is kind of weird too. But pretty much any other color in between, like tertiary colors, stuff like that, you, you won't have a problem. Um, okay, so we'll do this, and we'll make the color uh, yellow. Alrighty. So we got a yellow-looking light there. Alright. I'm going to make a new layer. This will be our paint layer here to make the light. And I'll go to make, uh, you want to use a pencil tool, of course, because you're doing pixel art. And while people will say, and I constantly argue that using dirty tools um, is uh, something that like people don't do in pixel art, well, I do it because you're still using pixels to do it. And it's not like, you know, you're making any gradients or any kind of weird shit like that. So regardless. All right, so anyway, you'll notice that I did this up here. I went to dissolve to make my paintbrush dissolve, whatever. Um, and that will create this kind of effect, right? So what we're going to do is we will, we're going to tone that down. We're going to make it a yellow color. We're going to steal that same yellow. Why not, right? And let's make it a little darker. And let's make this a little smaller. All right, that'll do it. So I'll just go around. And do, 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 do. Now, of course, this probably looks like nonsense right now that I'm doing, but you'll understand it when I'm finished. Okay. Now, let's deepen it a little bit. Usually try to watch my length and width of these things and sometimes I might redo it or whatever. Alright, now uh, I like to sometimes apply the, uh, the color dodge immediately because it kind of just shows me what I'm working with. Um, now what I'll do is I will I will make my eraser do that same thing. So let's see, look, it'll take it away. But we don't want to do it completely. What we want to do instead is probably take down the opacity. 
Uh, I like to use somewhere in the 20s, in the 20% range. You'll notice up here, uh, I made it 23%. So let's see how that looks. I'm going to make my brush a little larger too. All right, so that'll work. That'll work, at least for this demonstration. And you'll just go all the way around the light like I'm doing. Doesn't really have to be too perfect, but I like to make it perfect. I'm a weird perfectionist when it comes to that kind of stuff. And you'll notice that uh, above the light where I have it like overgoing the ledge and stuff. I'll, I'll show you how to cut that out too when I'm done here. All right. By the way, you can't edit this once you've done it, or at least I don't. So try to make sure that you're doing this correctly. Uh, I'll also show you how to make backups when I'm finished too. All right. I did a sloppy job, but I think you kind of get the gist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the color of this a little bit because it's really, really bright. Um, all right, we need to take this. We're going to do that kind of thing to it. All right. Like I said, yellow is not the best to do this with. You'll notice that around here, I'm going to have to blend it in more with the pavement and the walls. So that looks okay for now, at least for this demonstration. Um, all right, so I'm going to go around with the eraser again. I'm just going to little bigger. I'm going to take the opacity down maybe a hair. Yeah, I know I went under 20%. That's fine. Just kind of shape it out till you get a nice blend. There you go. All righty. <clears throat> All right, so Let's try to uh, get rid of this access crap out of, out of the way from the light. So I have the ground on a layer and this on a layer. Usually what I do is you'll see that I have my wall on a layer and my floor. What I'll do is I'll duplicate these and merge them. So now I have a full layer without it. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take everything here, just select all. That's usually what I do. I just use the uh, hotkey for that. Okay. Um, okay, now we take this layer, and then we inverse the selection. Because right now you have the room selected, and you want to go back to your light layer, like I did just now, and you want to hit inverse selection and delete. And you'll notice that this is gone. All that access crap is gone. So let's uh, make this normal for a second so you can see what I did. See, I basically cut it out from where it is. OK. So we're going to make this back to color dodge. Uh, duh, 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 duh. What else do I have to show you here with this? basically how I do lighting. Um, I could show you how I bend light and around an object or put an object in a room where it's going to cast a shadow. Let's do that. So let me grab an object here. 
So let's use a trash can. This is my other piece of work that I was working on. And let's copy that over there. And we got a trash can in the room. Now, depending on where you want this trash can, you may want to put the lighting over it or under it, whatever. I'm going to put it over it for right now uh, so I can show you using what using both kind of does. So I can cut something out for you to look at. Now, um, I was talking about backing this up, this, this light layer. Uh, you may want to copy it, just duplicate it, and then just turn it off. So if you screw up, you can always go back to what you're doing, and uh, you know do it again or whatever. Reshape the sh re reshape your shadows, or if you want to move an object in a room, you might want to go back to that and do it. Um, I just find doing it this way, you get like the most authentic shadows that you can, because you're placing them in there yourself. Um, and it just feels more natural. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Now, notice that I, I am using my same um, uh, my same pattern that I'm doing for the thing. So I, I put it up to 100% opacity. You could do less if you really wanted to and get crazy detailed with it. But I'm not going to do that. So you see I'm just going around and there's my shadow or the trash can we added. Now you can add finer details too, like, um, like I'll take the eraser tool and I'll make it a one and I'll just go around like the ladder ledge, you know, I'll do something like that. Or if, you know, since the light's coming from this direction, you are not going to want it on this side of the ladder. So we get rid of those, blah, blah, blah. Maybe. All right. And that's kind of how I do this, really. Let's... Like I said, if you screw up, you can always undo. I like always having um, uh, the... Uh, history palette open so I can just go back if I don't like something. Okay. That's pretty much it. So you've, you've made a room with lighting in it. There you go. Um, depending on, you know, the size of the light, uh, I would say the bigger this overall paint blob should be, you know. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you. I mean, you know, you can pretty much make it any width you want. Like I did here, I made it wider than I did in the example I showed you. And that's it. You got it. Also, you know, another quick tip too is that you notice that I have these red walls uh, or reddish walls like this one. Um, what you can do too is that if you are, if you're going to be a stickler to perfection, I would make them a little yellow too. Because if you notice, you know, light not only uh, hits the surface, but it all can also bounce off. So you know, like a yellow light shining in a room will also bounce off the walls and kind of make them yellow. Um, you know, if, if you have a you know, a very low saturated wall, color-wise. So, yeah, that's, that's basically how you do it. And uh, that's it.